All right, guys, good morning, good afternoon, whatever the case may be. I am getting suited and booted up to drive the Ford GTE. Let's set it up. I downloaded uh, the VRS setup just to be fast and efficient with it. Sure, I got the right one. All right, so let's see what kind of setup we got on us. Okay, so we're not running minimum tire pressure. That's interesting. That's good. I mean, we are at night. What are we running here? We're not, um, we're, we're running with soft rear springs. Okay, we have a little bit still left on the front. We have nothing left on the rear. What else? Um, the rake, I guess that's not too high. Probably have seen higher, I would imagine. The rear ARB, we're set to medium. And then in the front, we're set to soft and small. So pretty soft on the front. All right, well, I mean, it's an interesting setup. I have no idea what's been the norm lately in this uh, type of uh, deal, but let's see. Let's get in the car and see what we have. All right, so looking around the Ford GT cockpit, yeah, we have the same uh, fluorescent lights and everything. Pretty sweet. We have all our lights working. Let's glove up. So, just getting ready. Um, I'm running this car, which I never drive, and I, I only drive the Porsche um, Cup car. But, and then yesterday I did a practice with the uh, Ferrari GT3, but today I'm driving the Ford GTE. I've only driven it, uh, I don't know how many laps, but uh, several laps at VIR uh, several weeks ago, and that's about it. So, I don't have any practice in this car. Let's see what we can do. Uh, I'm probably going to be pretty far off the pace. The VRS guy did a 55. I have no idea what weather we have right now, but it, they're probably all pretty close to each other. All right, so we're leaving pretty bright in my room. should probably do something about that. Well, I, I, I didn't bother watching his lap either, so I don't know what gear he was in. Oh, I might have to do something about the lighting in here. I could definitely close the shades. But it's definitely really hard to see. And instant lockup. Yeah, in a way, I kind of forgot just there that I was uh, driving a car with no ABS. So i got to be a little bit e easier... That was a much better break. So far, the balance is uh, not too bad. Definitely feel like I'm not carrying the appropriate amount of speed for these corners in this high downforce monster that is a GTE car. Compared to the uh, GT3, I'll say that uh, it seems a little bit, a bit better balance. Seems a little bit better balanced as in, um, well, it definitely turns in better. I would imagine that I feel like I have a little less understeer on entry and a little less understeer in the center. Yeah, it just sounds very, well, car feels good. Good setup. I always struggle going through uh, turn one and fourth gear because of the fact that, um, I don't know, I guess I can't judge the speed. Had a little bit of a moment there. Couldn't see the apex really. I think I was out of position because I, I couldn't see it in the darkness. And again, I'm just having trouble with the lights in the room. A little bit of lock up there.
keep on going down to first gear there, and I'm not sure if that's what uh, they intended to be done. Normally, that's a second gear corner for me, as is this one. I, uh, I definitely feel like I'm just not carrying the speed that I should be able to with the downforce that I have this car. So I'm still driving it kind of like the GT3. Definitely had a moment there. So we'll try to run this car all the way to the end of this uh, practice. We have 13 minutes left. Let's see if I can keep it on the island uh, and see what kind of lap times we can get. Screwed up that last corner. I mean, there's just no consistency with me right now. Uh, can't see the screen really well. See, that just kind of proved that I'm actually not um, pushing the car. I, I don't have the correct apex speeds at all because of the fact that I was able to actually put more wheel into it. I was able to put more wheel into it and the car actually bit instead of understeering. <laughs> so there's actually more front grip available for me than what I'm actually uh, utilizing right now. Again, I'm just having a hard time seeing. I would really be able to like to uh, carry a little bit more speed through this set right here. Yeah, that was a lot better, but right now we're like four seconds off the pace, so that's really bad, and uh, just in that corner alone, I only picked up about 0.4, so we're definitely not stringing together any good laps. Well, there it got dark a little bit, and I couldn't see where I was going. Well, we're building on it. I mean, shit, it's my third lap, and I don't drive this car, so whatever. We're putting, we're stringing something together here, at least. Gotta be smooth, gotta be smooth. Gotta be smooth, gotta carry speed, carry speed, carry speed, carry speed. Gotta be smooth through here. Lost a little bit there. And I think somebody commented on one of my videos. I got a notification on my phone. All right, let's see what we can do. So that was a little bit better because um, although I braked a little bit early, I think I kept a tighter line, obviously, and then also...
57.6, so that still puts us at like, what, like two and a half seconds off? Oh, terrible. I was looking at uh, my lap time and the remaining time on the clock. Car feels pretty good though. So far, no big moments. A couple of tiny ones. Ah, uh, see, there I come. I completely lost sight sight of the track. It's getting brighter outside of my window because I'm filming this in the morning and it's every every minute it's getting brighter. Oh, nah, that's a little bit better. Okay, let's see if I can put it together for at least another quick lap here. We're putting it together. That's 0.25 right there, sector one. Let's see if we can get the breaking down on. There was a little bit of lock up there, but all in all, that wasn't too bad. But we did lose uh, to our fastest lap though. Big loss there, big loss there, not good. Uh, I was off on the grass. <laughs> See, I got a problem where like, I'm ducking my head because um, I have a glare from a reflection outside of the window that's hitting me right in the frickin' face. So I'm trying to duck to create a shadow. But then that puts me in an awkward driving position. So I'm completely screwing up that last corner every single time. That's always been my Achilles heel, heel, Achilles heel here at uh, Sebring is just that last hairpin. We're not getting better right now. Part of the reason is that, um, yeah, I, I just lack confidence right now in using the downforce in the car. Just lacking confidence in, uh, in the faster corners to use all the downforce. Basically, I feel I can feel the G, or can't feel it, but you know, I can get a sense of how many Gs I'm pulling. And uh, it's just not there for me. Like, I feel like it's excess. I feel like I'm going to lose the car. And that comes from driving the... Basically here, I'm turning in too early. And I think that the back end of the car is going to come around on me if I turn in any later. But I really need to wait and turn in a little bit later. So I can have a much better angle and carry more speed through there. 
Yeah, I mean, my turn ends are just coming way too late. Ah, 57.6. That's no good. We need to be in the 55s. I mean, that's like two and a half seconds. I'm going to slow way down and hope that this guy's fast. Oh, fuck. And I got in the wall. You could hear there the traction control working at the car sideways. He's pulling off. Oh, we don't have enough time. All right, I guess we're out of time, guys. Yeah, I'm just going to box this lap. Um, yeah, so, I mean, all in all, uh, I'm not the best driver uh, for these GT cars. It um, definitely, car feels great. The VRS setup is great. It's well balanced and stuff. Uh, pretty easy to drive. But is it easy to drive fast? Um, probably. I don't know. I guess it just requires a little bit more seat time and a little bit more confidence on my part um to turn in at the right moment and to turn in the right m amount see like i mean i just did it there like so i'm turning in my timing is wrong for my turn ins i'm either turning in too early or too late and i'm definitely not putting enough steering angle into it i think it can give be given a little bit more steering angle and i'm inducing uh, a lot of understeer on purpose sometimes and like uh, around this point i started cranking the wheel over but it's a little bit too late and i should have been carrying more speed to begin with. So that's kind of where we're at. But uh, I mean, for the most part, not too much damage to the car on our first run, no spins, no issues. Uh, I didn't feel anything with uh, funky about the brakes, David, I'm sorry, but uh, that's eight laps, no issues at all. So we're just gonna come back into our pit crew. Their beautiful little Alpine star suits. And put it in neutral, turn off the pit lane limiter, turn off the engine. Yeah, so I guess we managed a 57.6, probably not very good. Let's see. That was on our third lap, our third flying lap. And um, yeah, that's pretty bad. Uh, 55 flat is uh, the fastest guy right now. So um, I'm near the back. That makes me. But whatever. Again, I don't drive this car, so I don't care. Craig A. Williams. I've seen that name before. All right, guys. Well, uh, remember, subscribe to the channel. Um, uh, we have more videos coming out soon-ish. And uh, definitely I'm going to be planning, again, uh, recap. I'm going to be planning to make a basic workbook uh, for MoTeC. And uh, I'm going to take you to steps from beginner from total noob to pro on uh, how to use MoTeC. Um, I already did that video series, but I'm doing it again, so it'll have better quality, better video, and b better audio. And after that, uh, we'll continue on, and I'll make a basic workbook that's really clean and efficient for you guys. And then when we get to uh, 1,400 f uh, subscribers on my YouTube uh, channel, then uh, I'll be releasing that publicly free for download, okay, guys? So be looking out for that and uh, and then better, cooler prizes also coming along for uh, 5,000, 10,000, 15,000 subscriber thresholds. Uh, we'll also be giving away some data sessions uh, with me so uh, we can work together and I can try to help you either with your questions on MoTeC and uh, how to do either more advanced stuff or with driving and doing some analysis together. So that's it, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like, comment, and uh, until next time, I'll see you on the racetrack.